Today, uh, I have a painting that I would like to describe to you. And as I describe it, I would like you to draw what you hear, okay? So um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this painting, tell you what's in it. You're gonna draw and we'll see how we go, okay? So this painting um, is done by an artist that you know, okay? I uh, painted this this summer and I wanted to share it with you. So this painting is going to be a uh, landscape orientation, okay? So remember again, landscape versus portrait. So landscape. Um, this painting has a few different elements in it. Let's see, where would I like to start? Um, we're gonna start all the way on the left. So on the left, all the way at the top corner. Okay, so top left corner, um, really, really big, taking up the entire uh, upper corner is a goose, okay? So think about what shapes you can use to draw a goose. Um, the wings are totally outstretched and it's flying toward the corner. So the head is closest to the corner. The feet are pointing at an angle down um, and you have the wings outstretched. Um, so maybe like an oval for the head, a long neck, oval for the body, and then wings um, outstretching are kind of almost like long triangle shapes, okay? So you can think about what shapes you can use uh, in order to draw a giant goose flying up toward the top of the painting, okay? So if you need more time with that, go ahead and pause the video whenever you need it. Um, I am going to tell you what's next, okay? So there are two more small geese flying as well. So they're kind of in that same space, kind of behind um, the big goose. So there's two other smaller geese uh, flying behind the first goose. Behind the goose's head, there is a really big um, half circle, okay? So you can only see half of it. So it kind of goes all the way up to the edge of the painting or at the edge of the paper, uh, almost like you're drawing a sun, okay? All right, going uh, outward from that circle are four curved lines, okay? Well, they're thicker, they're really thick. They're like kind of bands, okay? So there's four bands all starting in the, from the circle, from the edge of the circle, going out all the way to the edge of the painting. So actually I'm gonna use this. So, oops. Mm this side. So on this side, there is the, uh, where the circle is, okay? And then going all the way to the edge, all the way to the edge, all the way to the edge, okay? Um, are these four bands. And on these bands are a bunch of bees, okay? So that's some alliteration for you too. So on these bands are a bunch of bees, kind of all walking toward the circle. All right, between the bands are stars. So there are stars all between the bands. Uh, some are eight-sided, some are six-sided, some are four-sided. So a bunch of stars filling in all the space in between those. Okay. On the bottom in the middle is a fawn, okay, or a baby deer lying down. So again, think about what shapes you can use. Um, so maybe an oval for the head, triangles for the ears, okay, maybe an oval for the body. So think about what shapes you can use to draw a little baby deer. And surrounding the baby deer are ferns. 
So there are a bunch of ferns covering the whole bottom of the painting. So all the way across the whole bottom section surrounding the deer all the way to the left hand side are ferns, some of them big, some of them small. Uh, ferns are, in case you haven't seen a fern before, they're plants that have a long stem and then they have skinny leaves coming out from the stem. So there's a bunch of skinny leaves coming out from the stem. And around the fawn as well are some teeny tiny white flowers. Okay. All right. And then the last thing, all the way on the right hand side is a giant serpent or snake um, swirled around itself. So it's kind of knotted all together. So there's this giant, it takes up a huge part of the left hand side of the painting. Um, this giant serpent with kind of like a dragon head um, going all the way from the corner all the way to the top left hand side of the painting. Okay, and it's really dark. It's almost like a shadow. All right, so those are the main things. So take your time, pause the video, um, finish drawing, okay? And I will show you the painting. All right, this is the painting that I painted over the summer. Um, it was unusual because the image just came to me. I don't even know exactly what it means. I'd be so interested in hearing what you guys think it means, if you have any um, analysis, any interpretation of what you think this painting means. I would love to hear it. I don't even have a title yet. So um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to think. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to send me uh, an image, okay? So you can take a photo of it, send it to me in Seesaw or um, Google Classroom, okay? So just send that to me. Um, that's all you have to do. Uh, I wanna see how you did, what you thought of, Okay, you can also tell me what, you know, if you like this, if you found it frustrating, if you thought I needed to add more detail, if I had too much detail. Okay, so let me know. Uh, you can also, as an option, you can do a drawing yourself or find a painting that you like, and you can describe it to me in a video or to a friend, you know, it doesn't have to be to me. And then you can send it to me and I will draw it and send that back to you. So that's an option if you'd like to do that. But I would like to see your drawings. Please send them to me on Seesaw or on Google Classroom. All right.